So Bill Cosby is not admitting to anything. He basically will sit in jail for 10 years because he feels like he is not going to admit fault or guilt. Um, he believes that during that time, everybody was doing quaaludes and him drugging women is something that he will never cop to. Um, he feels set up. He feels like his whole um, just career uh, was bred with jealousy and envy and people wanting to bring him down and they eventually did. Um, I believe that the Cosby show is one of the most important shows that ever existed, but him having this stain on him has made networks not want to show the reruns. reruns. I believe that the reruns should be shown because it shows a black family in a positive light. Um, you can actually separate the man from the show. Just like R. Kelly and his music, but it's a step forward to actually protest the show, but it should not be protested based off of the, the content. The content was so potent and powerful and something that we need to see and generations growing up needs to see as well. But I believe Bill Cosby was set up as well. However, I believe he did a lot of shit. However, I believe that a lot of the women were willing. However, some of them must have felt coerced or cornered um, than others feeling like they had to do what they had to do to get put on. And when Bill Cosby did not put them on, then information was held on to. So when one woman came forward, other women came forward. But why can't we accuse them of wanting to be with him? And the idea to me that him being a superstar, millionaire, uh, famous black guy, it's hard for me to believe that he had a problem getting women naturally where, you know, he needed to feel like he needed to drug them. I think he liked drugging the women. And I think the women were there for whatever came as long as they could be put on. A lot of these women's women were actresses and or aspiring models and things like that. So this was like a, an elevated version of a casting couch. But I feel like humility is the key and he doesn't show that he has a humility. Um, he feels like he still didn't do anything wrong, but he did because what he did was he took advantage of a lot of women at the end of the day, that's what it was really all about. He took advantage of a lot of women. He doesn't have a full uh, vote of innocence behind him. Based off of his show, you could say, oh, Bill Cosby would never do anything like that. But since he did and he admitted to it, he didn't admit to the seriousness of it or the the mutual maybe uh well it's kind of hard because he's had so many different type of experiences with these women when i said earlier some of them were willing some of them were maybe coerced i'm saying that because i'm trying to get you to see that there's different levels to this that bill cosby had done and is diluted his sense of reality. He's diluted in the, the fact that he believes maybe they all wanted to do it or they all had fun. I don't believe out of 50 women, I don't believe they all had fun. I don't believe he was nice to everyone. I don't believe that he didn't kind of put career over their head and hope that they would do whatever he wanted them to do. Um, I believe some girls, he slipped things in their drinks, but I knew that 
a lot of people in the 70s did that. They were doing things like that, which is weird to me. It's weird. It's weird to slip something in, in a girl's drink and sleep with her while she's basically asleep. That's weird to me. What kind of interactions would she have knocked out? You lay on top of her. What could she do for you? But you're a superstar. Bill Cosby doesn't see that. But it's still complicated because there's different women, but all of these women that came forward are not the same. Especially one of the ones that actually brought him down was a woman that looked and dressed masculine, which is a nice way of me. I'm going to leave it just there because I don't want to offend anyone. Um, and maybe she identifies as a man now. Maybe she just is a woman and feels like she is comfortable dressing like a, a man. But with the track record of the women that have really slept with Bill Cosby and the accused, the accusers of Bill Cosby, it just doesn't meet the criteria that he would hit on a woman that's masculine, that's dressed like a man. Now, that's where it gets really dicey that that was one of the women that, well, that was one of the situations that brought him down. That was one of the women that brought him down. One out of four women brought him down out of the countless many others that were not even needed to be a part of this because of the fact that he did on the stand, whether he was tricked into saying that he did it, but there's nothing around it. He did it. He did something like that. And something like that would be illegal in this day and age, even if they did it freely in the 70s or 60s, um, dropping things in women's drinks, quaaludes, making them unconscious. You're having sex with a, with, with a, a woman that's asleep. I mean, own up to that at least. So this video is kind of like, trying to unweave the the mess the messy web because it is it's like because when you think about him as the tv show bill cosby then you think about him as the businessman bill cosby you think of him as a fatherly figure to america then you think about him being a player having a lot of women being a superstar doing whatever he wanted to do having a lot of women willing but then you think of him as somebody that was so bored that he wanted to put quaaludes in women's drinks. Um, I believe that this is where the stickiness is. I believe that some women were knowing about the quaaludes and were okay with it. Then I believe that some women were not knowing of him doing this to them. And then they wake up in the morning and he rolls off, off of them. I can see the pain in that happening and being a problem, but the power was given to him even further when the women didn't speak. Then you have him waving things over their head. He's paid off some women. He's actually been such a star that some women did not even want to get him in trouble. Um, is very complicated, but the nucleus is putting something in a woman's drink to sleep with her while she sleep. If nothing else was said, that's it. That's the weird illegal activity. That's like a day rape drug that is rape. If they wake up and didn't know that he slept with them or they wake up in mid-pounding and realize that, how did this happen? It's deeper than when they're at a party and then his handlers pull them aside and say, Mr. Cosby wants to meet you. The excitement of them is they're actually, they're a model, 
this could be good for my career, but furthermore, he's a star. The starstruck quality made some women protect him. It's dicey, but the Cosby show should still be played on the air because of the examples it set for not only black people, which we needed to see those images. We needed it. We need it now. But his activities and his unwillingness to admit it because he's had enablers, even his wife was an enabler. She would have shown more strength walking away from him because she knew he cheated on her versus staying with him for 50 years, knowing that all the women were there. Some of them were treated unfairly. It's just hard. The, the probability that he treated more than 50 to 100 women fairly is just not there. So even though I love the Cosby show and I see that this scenario was kind of manipulated to get him in jail. I see that if he was tried for everything else, he would have got a hundred years in jail. You see how it's complicated. Your heart is here. Your mind is here and everything is kind of mixed in together. Each scenario is not the same. They're different from each other. But in maybe a criminal case where they can convict him, maybe four of the cases were similar enough to put him away for a short time. But maybe the other cases were not needed because they didn't want to spend taxpayers' money on more of more trials and things like that when they can just get him put away knowing that he's, you know, in his 80s and you know, he's had health issues. It's it's something that it takes a lot of information and thought behind it, energy behind it. But again, at the end of the day, he slipped things in some of the women's drinks. All of the women were not the same. A lot of the women, maybe even most of them were willing to do whatever he wanted. Some of them were down with the Quaaludes. Some of them were not. But the ones that were not, where they didn't know what was going on, that's where the crime was. Not the willing participants, not that they all were willing to meet him and go to his hotel room. Not that it's the violation of the women, even if out of 50 women, one said he touched her and she didn't want that. That's rape still. And that's something that Mr. Cosby, Bill Cosby, does not want to own up to. It, it, it's good for his conscience to feel as if he didn't do anything wrong still. And he's mixing it up with the, 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 the case now that got him in there. That is a setup. That's a setup. However, the complications from everything else, it had to be done. The best example was everyone believed OJ Simpson killed Nicole. Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. I never believed that. Never believed one man with one knife killed two people in such a short front porch area of a you know of her home where neighbors are all around and all of this is happening right on the front in the middle of the night. Nobody could hear screams of being stabbed within the house and with the, outside the house as well. But it's almost like that situation where OJ got acquitted for the murders. He got sentenced to 15 years in prison. He served nine for 
stealing his own shit. So it's justice is a petty system. It's petty because it will get you no matter what. Even if you got off one way, they'll get you on something smaller and make that the biggest crime out of all, out of, out of everything. <laughs> so you let me know what you feel about Bill Cosby and his unwillingness to humble himself and to admit any type of wrongdoing. My name is Darrell. Go to my website, Scare the Light. Follow my social media handles. Please subscribe. The only way you're going to get the competition prizes that I'm going to give you, the contest, sweepstakes, all of that, you won't be able to be involved in that without subscribing. And please subscribe because I hope you like the content that, that I'm going to bring you as well as I do communicate with my subscribers and thank you so much to all the new subscribers I recently got. I have a book coming out called The Brown Paper Bag Boys and the Colorism Experiment. That will be available soon. I also have a book called Scare the Light, the Dream Memoirs of Russell Banks, which is a fiction fantasy series. It'll have about seven books. So you let me know what you think about Bill Cosby's unwillingness to admit any wrongdoing in this complicated situation, because some of it is bullshit. Some of it is bullshit. All right. I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.